Just break your third rim, she's delicious Scorpio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and this is your Valentine's Day special, my papa. <laughs> Let's see you look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please show me angels. What is the energy on Valentine's Day going into the sure? Um, we'll be uh, taking a look at messages from the goddess of love herself self as well the goddess aphrodite oh scorpio i'm really sensing a lot of drama here <laughs> sometimes it's self-made drama i'm a scorpio just like you so i know how it goes scorpio scorpio the devil at the bottom of the deck mm, what have you done what did you do <laughs> what did you do bibo someone's playing with matches okay i don't know if it's you or somebody else here something's going on <laughs> Before we proceed though, by the way, someone's like really stuck on, oh my God, look, Scorpio uh, beneath the devil. Someone's really stuck on you. You've been playing with matches though, Scorpio. Maybe somebody tried to play you, played them harder. Look, seven of swords, of course. Somebody tried, this This is a theme that comes up all the time. You, somebody tried to play with the scorpion, they tagged at your tail or something, and you're like, who are you? Ah, do you know who I am? I am the Scorpion King, Queen, anyone in between. Somebody tried to do something and you were like, yeah, you want to play? Let's play. And this ended very badly for someone here. Someone's not doing well. I think you're not doing well either, though, Scorpio. There's a lot of confusion here about the situation. Before we get into the drama, though, Scorpio, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. <laughs> Scorpio, you know, I am Scorpio Sun and Rising. This is Scorpio Central. And I'm so, so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. But I do see, like, look, these readings are always drama. This is... Um, I see you moving on from a situation that has been hanging up in the air. What is the situation with you, Scorpio? But it's someone who tried to play you. This is like a um, cat and mouse game in some senses here. Somebody try to play Scorpio. Uh, this is, let's see, what happened in the past? Let's see the past. Yeah. You were happy in love in the past, but uh, there's potential. You had someone, there's someone in your life where there was potential. It could have even been family. It could have been somebody who was the mother, father, and in between of your children. It doesn't have to be, but there's the potential. You saw them as somebody you wanted to be with forever. Um, the Empress, you know, such a beautiful connection, but something went wrong, like something got derailed here, whether it was new or established, but Bill, I see somebody try to play games with the Scorpion, the Scorpion really had to reconsider the situation, the devil was in the details, you figured something out, out about this person that was in your life, that you were like, I don't think so, something wasn't quite right, you were like, you know, like, it just didn't add up, you know, Scorpio, you're the FBI of the Zodiac, that's why everyone's so intimidated by us, we just know things about you, Bibu, Crosswatcher, like, I just know about you, I just know, I don't ask to know, I don't want to know, I want to be like, I want to be like all the other Bibus, but I'm never going to be like other Bibus because I'm a Scorpio. That's just the Scorpio life, Bibu, we just know, you just knew, Scorpio, something wasn't adding up. There was some issue with communication. It could have been a lot of arguments. I think something's suspended up in the air still for you. You're not over something 100% or something suspended. If it's not a total breakup, it could have been a ghost. You know, it could have been a ghost. It's funny because Scorpios have been talking about um, ghost energy recently on my vlog channel because we were talking about my <laughs> dating adventures and uh, we were talking about me ghosting a bunch of people. I'm going to do a, a, I'm gonna do a whole video on ghosting and spirituality because um, I think there's times when it's okay to do that, but um, you know, mostly not. Don't do it, obviously. You know, don't do it to other people. Uh, it is the lowest of the low cowardice, but there is something like that here. Someone goes there or went funny with communication and something, you know, devil was in the details. And now it's like something's still hanging over you, but Bill, you wish like you're kind of ready to be over it, Scorpio. You're done. You're ready to be over that other connection and something in the past that even if it was like a marriage of 20 years, I still see a ghost or like a silence or, or a sudden argument, sudden change. It's causing you some distress here um, and you need to make the decision to either move on 
or to keep uh, communicating with this person. Maybe you ghosted someone because you had a good reason to ghost them. You gave them the scrupulous of silence. Maybe let's put it like that. You gave somebody the scrupulous of silence. They were trying to play games with you. And rather than play the games, you're like, okay, let's just be silent. <laughs> scrupulous of silence, time to move on. The Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. The more you give this person space to speak, the more you communicate with them now, if you choose to communicate with them again, the more distressing it will be. Uh, Ace of Swords. But, but this person, let's see why this person is still on your mind, and then we'll see what the new is coming in. Why is this person still on Scorpio's mind? You, there's something about this person that you see, like, their good side. I think you're the only person who sees their good side, something like that. You see a side to them other people don't, the Six of Pentacles. You see their kindness. Um, I think you also feel sorry for them on some level. You know, this person... There's like a, a power imbalance here. I think you hold more power in this connection with, the, with this person in the past. You were just, you know, more scrumptious, more popular, richer, I don't know. But you just have all the power. Feel sorry for this person. I think you you already know that this person has very little love to give because they have, they just, they just don't have a very loving life. They didn't have a, a very loving life. But you just know things about them. You know, you see aspects of this person other people don't. Page of Swords, but good and bad, you know. Something wasn't adding up, but at the same time, you see when it does add up and you do feel sorry for them, and that's why you love them. But who was I saying this to the other day that, like, I have this problem, but Bill, see, I'm such a Scorpio. Like, I don't, like, fall in love because, like, someone's impressive or, like, whatever. I just, like, the minute I see a bird with a broken wing, like, and I know it's so bad, but it's like, ah, broken wing, broken toy, yes. This is when love turns on for me. It's when I feel sorry for them. If I don't feel sorry for them, I'm, I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> but the minute I'm like, ah, empathy, no, it's terrible. Yeah, um, Knight of Wands. I don't know if this person has tried to reach out already, Scorpio, but they will in the springtime. So be careful. They don't get sucked into the arguments and the drama again. Someone's not done with you. You're not done with them. It's a broken toy, broken toy. The little broken toy with its little broken hand is going to dial your number and give you a call or something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I, I hope that's not like, don't cancel me for saying broken toy with a broken hand. Um, little broken finger. Okay, anyway, whatever. Let's. <laughs> Who else is coming through for Scorpio? You have another Scorpio coming in, but your challenge is to get uh, get rid of this energy that's uh, with you at the moment. The energy from the past is really, really with you. There is another person who's gone. It's almost like your mirror, you know? Uh, this is like the energy, the energy I'm getting here is somebody, look, <clears throat> Scorpio, death, who's coming in, death. Queen of Swords. So, you know, it could be death itself, but Bill, that is you. Someone who deals with death or has dealt with death, either uh, has lost a spouse or a partner to death, or, you know, maybe they just like that's their job, their work, or that's their spiritual, um, you know, vibrational energy. Uh, I am death. I am the daughter of death, but Bill, I'm Scorpio. I have many Scorpio placements in my chart, but I also deal spiritually with, uh, work, work, I work with the spirits of the dead and with the God of, of the underworld. So, this is my spiritual energy. Um, so it might be someone like me, you know, like kind of like cute on the outside, but like, you know, death on the inside or something. Bit of a loner too. It's not a bad energy. A lot of this is Scorpio vibes. Um, but I see the challenge here also is you need to, you really need to decide which way you want to go. This is about making a decision here. Eight of Swords. Decide today if you're opening yourself up to new energy, Scorpio, because you know how we can get. If we linger on something, we'll linger forever. Don't let it linger forever. You know, t take off the band-aid with this person from the past. Just because you see the, the good aspect of the broken toy doesn't mean the toy is going to work. Like, you cannot telepathically fix a broken toy. There's someone who's been through a lot of pain, Scorpio. I think it's your divine counterpart who's coming in. It's this year. If you delay it, it could be, you know, as long as Scorpio season or it could be as early as Gemini season. I think by that time you will have met this new person. It is someone who is a high priest or high priestess to death, to suffering, very Scorpionic energy, someone who's been through it, but um, who has learned the correct lessons, someone who knows how to love. They have all the more love because they've been through this darkness. So because they understand death, they're able to love in ways that other people can't. Very Scorpionic energy, very beautiful energy. Don't close yourself off to this connection just because you're lingering on the past. Let's see what the goddess Aphrodite has to say to you, my baby. It's Gabriel. This is amazing energy. I'm loving this for us. 
I claim this reading. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I was just going to say, actually, I don't. Because <laughs> a lot of the boo-boos that I dig do come up as death, and it's never good news for me. All right, full moon. Um, full moon, boo-boo. The goddess has spoken. It says here, protect your energy and hold your stars close. You are the moon, baby. Scorpio belongs to the moon. I know some people say Scorpio has, um, like some people in astrology say Scorpio has, like, masculine energy. I don't, that really isn't true. At least, you know, in terms of how I, um, how Scorpios live their life. Scorpio is, I mean, it doesn't really matter, like, you know, whether it's sun energy or moon energy, but Scorpio is silver. Silver belongs to the moon. Silver is of the goddess. So, you know, um, <clears throat> At your foundation, you have the moon in the darkness and the night, Scorpio, and that is feminine energy. You thrive at night. There's something here about manifesting and doing rituals at night. Maybe you're just a night, night boo boo, like your mommy. Um, you know, um, use that power. Use the power of the night. The creatures of the night use your power. That you have use the natural affinity you have with the full, with the moon and the full moon to manifest the love that you want, and to also let go of any bonds that tie you still to the past that are not the best boo boo. Uh, the full moon ritual and next full moon might be very important to you or you might meet your boo-boo on a full moon. Also, the goddess is giving you reassurance. Say, you do belong to me, boo-boo, Scorpio. You feel, you know, you might feel very uh, close affinity, a very close affinity with the divine feminine and with the goddess. And that is your, um, that is your confirmation from the goddess of love herself and war uh, that you are on the right track. So if you're following the path of the goddess, uh, she is smiling upon you today. I think you're going to attract a lot of success this year in general. This is also something I'm getting from this reading. You're going to attract a lot of success financially as well as in love. So just keep going, keep doing, keep um, keep grooving, keep moving, because you are about to really come into your own in 2023, Scorpio. But just know that it's important you make the decision internally uh, when you're ready to move on, because you if you don't, you're going to linger in the past. Uh, so this is what I have for you today, my baby Scorpio. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button. And of course, uh, like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me or you're interested in any of my magical services, all the information is in the description box. Hello. I'll see you next time, my people. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One more kissy, baby. One more. <laughs>